Right. Welcome back. Mark to fate, everybody. Good times. I hope. Again, we're short of people, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll be fine. Any final preparations before you head out? Now, again, this will be um, about a week's journey through the mountains prior to arriving, more or less, to where you need to be. It's a long rest. You will have long rest of time, <laughs> yeah. For sure. I say we all make camp inside the barrel. What? Am I walking this, am I walking this all the way there? <laughs> uh, it's big enough. That's for you sure. get in the barrel and we can rob my nightmare. It's a bit of a tight squeeze for you because you're a very big individual mm -hmm. and he just can't fit in it. <laughs> uh, unless he goes out of his bear miss, which he never does. Only with the ladies. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. That's yeah. true. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yep. I forgot about the barrel. That's cool. Right. The Extra dimensional uh, bone throne area. Yeah. Pretty much like a pocket dimension rather than extra dimensional space. It is. That's fair. It is a pocket dimension. Because we can take our bags and hold them in there. I yes. could the, get on the nightmare Spin, with the barrel on my Spin back. Spin made it so that you do not create a rip in the astral plane <laughs> for going into it with that. Probably bad for business. Good spin. Yeah. He's, um, he's probably the only person that can do that. I'm all loaded up with bed rolls and you know, all the comforts of the camp. Okay. That's fair enough. Um, Keep the bone thrown in, in honor of Ivan Schmidt. Hey, motherfucker, someone else rob Someone else carry the barrel. <laughs> I think it's about as tall as I am. Well, so no, it's like, <laughs> it's not... I mean, I guess they could stay in it, but it's it's not... It's just for sleeping purposes. Yeah. Not yeah. for... They could ride in it. They please, could. Please ride my nightmare all the you, way up there. You just make the trek by yourself <laughs> through the mountains. I got a flaming horse. The flowers. Hell, you could take your armor off and just wander around with a barrel on your back and you just be a bear in the woods with a barrel. I like it. <laughs> That's very funny. But then I'd be unprotected if I got attacked. That's good. What's in that barrel, bear? Uh, <laughs> bro, I just kill him. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, the barrel is very, very obviously magical considering it has glowing wounds all over it. Yeah. Um, very uh, aesthetically pleasing looking kind of barrel. Very magical with the, with the handle on the lid. Made of adamantine. Made of adamantine, so it can't really be destroyed. Not without considerable... So, I have uh, a crazy barrel on my back and it doesn't require attunement, but the goddamn boots of speed have to be attuned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're altering your physical stuff. This is absurd. So, here's the thing. Uh, the barrel does not affect you personally, other than the fact that you carry it. Um, which is, by the way, no problem at all. And this barrel probably weighs a good 100 pounds. Yeah. If not more. Uh, and you're good. Your strength is stupid. 29. So, yeah. yeah. So you prepare, you put in bed rolls, there's all this kind of... I'm going to go find Telma before we leave, too. Okay. Just just talk to her a little bit. You find Telma in an area that's been designated. Uh, she's actually in the like, Hero Hall, the Hall of Heroes. Is that what you called it? Yeah, Hall of Heroes. Hall of Heroes. Um, working on uh, like a little shrine to Rusha. But we, we have a chapel for that. I know. Like we've got an entire dedicated no. place of worship. I realize that. <laughs> Why do we need another shrine? Because what if the chapel's full? Fair point. <laughs> There's a lot of dwarves here. Women. <laughs> <laughs> so not spoken aloud. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be departing again shortly. Okay. Um, going after some cleanup type stuff, trying to get all the Doomslayer weapons together. So, oh. if we do have to fight, I'll fight against something truly horrific. We've got everything we need. Well, and uh, she, she says well, and then she like she stops what she's doing. 
she turns around. She grabs your, uh, your, because you're in full plate. Yeah. yeah. She grabs well, your chest plate. plate and pulls you in for like a, a, a big kiss, right? <laughs> and then she's like, you be safe. I'm, uh, a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a, a whale. Yeah. <laughs> um, bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of flustered. Yeah. A little red in the face. Yeah. It's been a long time since a since a female dwarf kind of did anything like that for Ulfgar. He's an old man. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, like uh, it's like it's been a long time since anybody's uh, grabbed hold of my plow, <laughs> like in <laughs> like in Firefly, and I. Our, our Mrs. Reynolds. That's so good. Anyway. Uh, okay, cool. So, let's get to show the road. The journey begins. Leave out Boshnar. I'm on a goat. Okay. Like, decked out. That would be a really good parody song. I'm on, I'm a, goat. on a goat. I'm on a goat. I'm on a goat. Seriously. Chewing grass, motherfucker, on a goat. That <laughs> would be really good. I will work on that. I like that. <laughs> anyway. I thought it'd be on a go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big, burly, grass eating go. <laughs> it really works well. It does. It does. It's really good. Mr. Thomas, look at. <laughs> I got the only goat name yeah. I can think of. Um, actually, if you wanted to requisition mounts. Uh, you can. Yeah, I'm taking your writing your nightmare. Bran, Bran can just cast summon steed or Fine whatever steed. it is. Find mm -hmm. steed. I've got a nightmare. And we'll summons a it. horse. Well, you my, having, my he gets a unicorn. Oh, well, that's right. That. You got a unicorn. Within. Yeah. Probably won't be able to do too much of its magicness. That's or. Okay. You know, it's just year round. Mm -hmm. It's self aware and all that fun stuff. Yep. Uh, and I believe unicorns are actually sentient. Mm -hmm. But. They're pretty high intelligence for a monster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Technically speaking. So you're on your unicorn. Uh, Impsh has a ridiculous movement speed. Uh, so he doesn't really need a mount unless you just want one. Do you, did you want to ride a goat? No, I'm a nightmare. Oh, that's right. You have a nightmare. You'll steed. <laughs> now, you'll steed. Uh, it can be used. It's like two days, I think, or seventy-two hours. It's for like it's for twelve hours at a time, and then it has to rest for a while. Oh. But it can fly, which is kind of handy. Anyway, oh. through your various modes of transportation, I uh, so like Evander well, and that's Sign, hours. you get goat mounts for, and you begin to make your trek. I assume we have you. ponies for normal-sized people, for the tall people. Well, the goats are big enough. Like, you have big goats. These, goats and goats. These are like almost horse sized goats. Big. Like, specifically, specifically designed to carry armored dwarves. Right? So, carrying Psy and Evander is no problem at all. It's like carrying nothing for them. Com weight, weight comparison, yeah. So make your way. Um, you encounter a few things in the mountains. A couple of hill giants. Remmer Haas. Uh, maybe a Remmer Haas. Just the, I'm thinking back to the uh, thing with Drizzt and Wolf and uh, uh, what's his name? thing, right? You guys are beast, right? And while we could roleplay all, all those fights out, I'm good. Not to mention the Dwarven Thrower does another D8 against Giants. Because, like, Hill Giants aren't super strong. You fight a few Stone Giants. Nothing really out of the ordinary for the mountains. As a matter of fact, a lot of the creatures that are sentient uh, that you encounter go away. <laughs> They're like, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Fuck off. I want no part of that. Yeah. 
Fine. They don't say anything. They're, they're not there. What would normally be there is not there when you pass through. Because you're not trying to be sneaky. Anyway, Imp's just flying on a fiery horse. You're riding a unicorn. Mm hmm. Riding a unicorn. It's all good. I've got a gold bedecked goat. It's cold up here in these, the in these lovely mountains. Um, super cold. But, you know, with appropriate wear, and uh, I believe several of you can conjure fire through weaponry or otherwise, which is perfectly fine. I'm pretty sure there's a cantrip for that. For maintaining. Like produce flame. Fire? It's produce flame. There's also one for, like, specifically for making a cantrip. For, uh, it's like bonfire, yeah. Uh, it might be in the Apocalypse book. Yeah, it's it, Apocalypse. Elemental Evil, I believe. The player's companion. That's the Princess of the Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. That's where it came from. Uh, cool. I haven't had that yet. I have the books at home now to, to do that sometime soon. You find, uh, first of all, let's have, who's leading this? Be Psy up front. Psy up front. Let's get a survival check. Oh good, he's, I think he's good at those. He's a ranger. Son of a bitch! No, he's not. He's not he a good ranger. Bad ranger. He didn't take survival. He's an assassin. He, he right. took nature. Oh, we all got nature. You all got nature. I well, they all they all did. Um, he did roll very well though, so that's uh twenty one. Nice. No, twenty two. Excuse me. Twenty two. Twenty two is good. So you uh managed to make your way, and you find a. Uh, It's, because you've been kind of sleeping in mountainous caves periodically barrel. as you go, right, in, in the barrel. Um, and <sighs> the, uh, you all come upon a, an opening that looks different from a, a standard cave, right? It looks kind of like an archway, like it was carved. And <clears throat> there's a stain off to the right-hand side that leads into this place that is written in a uh, sort of ancient Text. Does anyone here? I'm trying to think here. What language would that be in? Sign uh, as common, elven, giant, dwarven, and draconic. No, celestial, dwarven, and common. It's draconic. That's so sign reads it. So I can read it. It is. It appears to be an old blood stain. That was like actually. It was written in blood. Um, and it says, uh, do not enter, uh, death awaits you. Well, time for back guys. And Are we close to where we know the Doomslayer is? I mean, does that yeah. sound like the thing that Kate Kate and look for? Yes. Ah, great. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you also see, this is kind of shadowy in there, uh, you see a stream of, of bones that, that leads into this place. Um, and there's not a lot, they don't appear to be really humanoid bones, right? They're like big, bigger bones. And as you make your way into this cave. Um, can I roll a nature check to see yes. if you recognize the type of bones? Yes. Okay, will do so as well. Because, why not? So, Ulfgar is purple. Well, that one. That's not even possible. Did you just roll two nat 20s? Two 19s. Oh. Nice. Close. Close enough. 
So for yes, for me uh, that's a twenty six. For him that's a twenty two. That's the same roll he got last time. So Actually, no, for uh, nature, that's Psy, more. that's twenty seven. Psy definitely knows what the what this creature is, considering it's one of his. I think it's one of his favorite enemies, actually. Uh, dragon. Mm. Yeah, favorite enemy dragons. It's dragon. Uh, and the text is big. That was written. It says like guys, dragons. Uh, and dragon as you roads. as you kind of walk in, there's this substantial uh, kind of cave. It kind of opens out into a larger cave area, and within it, uh, there is the rest of the dragon uh, skeleton that is in uh, various locations around this cave. Before we go into that main chamber, yeah, I'm gonna cast find traps. Okay. <laughs> Instead of just looking for traps, Good. I'm just gonna fucking find traps. Good point, and that that is out to 120 feet. I'm looking for. I think it's 120 uh, feet. Yeah, 120 feet. Mm. Let's mark that spell off. Yeah, find traps. Okay. You do not detect any traps, which is good. One thing of important note: whatever was in here is not here. Is no it. He's no longer really there. Uh, this this dragon skeleton has been there for uh, quite a while. Uh, as in the, the bones are dry and bleached and that kind of stuff. Um, two things of important note. This was an ancient dragon. It is in a multitude of places. It appears to have been eaten like ripped apart. Fuck what can kill an ancient dragon. Uh it it it's what wrote the text. Uh do not enter. Death awaits you. Cool. Uh, I think we're both gonna try and make another survival check to see if we can tell what would be nature survival to tell what killed it. Uh Tracks. whichever one's better. Alright, so I I'll be doing Survival. He'll be doing nature. Mm -hmm. This is clearly a uh, white dragon skeleton. Twenty-four for Psy mm -hmm. and twenty for Ulfgar. Okay. Um. The. It's it's not really telling what exactly killed it. But no discernible tracks or there's no discernible tracks. What you can see is that on the bones and it seems to be on every bone, right? There are uh, like a whole bunch of scratch <coughs> finite scratches. Uh, almost like little tiny like millions of little tiny uh, teeth or, or swords or whatever have kind of scraped well, clearly a very bones. small man killed this dragon and carved it up <laughs> very, very small man <laughs> maybe a small army of men that's the way to think um, I'm going to take some dragon bones while I'm here might as well some nice shit out of dragon bones. You can. And um, some teeth. If there's any teeth laying around. There are a few teeth. There aren't a lot. Um, there's a bunch of the big ones, though. Like rib cages and vertebra. And you wouldn't be able to fit, like, the hip bone of it in into any bag that you possess. But most of the other ones you can squeeze into somewhere. You can take all leg bones. Some, some of the fine wing bones. I'm thinking maybe I could craft something out of these. Okay. I'll write that down. Uh, dragon. Uh, Pencils. Cancel. Ancient white dragon bones. So you got like a couple leg bones 
And you said some wings, some wing parts as well. And teeth. And teeth. I know I have a page for inventory somewhere in here. Okay. There is at the far end of this opening another pathway that goes, that leads deeper into the mountain. Uh, assuming you all take that route, it begins to wind downward, going deeper and deeper underground. Down, down to golden time. And normally, the further down that you get, the warmer it becomes as you approach the core of Artom. It's getting colder, isn't it? But it is getting colder. Son of a bitch, there's another white dragon down here. And colder. And colder. Like it is becoming unbearably cold. As Even in, with the boots on? In the no, you're it's close. Oh, it's, yeah, fur. it's it's in the negatives. It's cold. Super cold. It's not cold enough to take damage yet. But it's cold. My bare body will protect me. <laughs> you are... Um, you want to hibernate right now. You are uncomfortable, it's some but it's not... <laughs> it's some salmon. It's some salmon in a nap. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. That's good. That's really good. Uh, also, the further in that you get, you see that... There seems to be a bit of glow happening occasionally, like on the walls, uh, like streams of ice crystals um, that actually have a faint glow of Technos. Um, you hear as you uh, you pass a few side chambers that are full of other skeletons of things. Um, you see a, for example, uh, you see a beholder skeleton. Uh, you see a Remerhaz skeleton. That'll be a carapace. Carapace. There's a purple worm. It's really just a teeth. So you have uh, stealth ahead. Yeah, Sai's gonna go stealth and creep okay. up. He's gonna look for traps while he's doing it too. Cool. Uh, so let's do the stealth first. Good God. <laughs> Wait, do you pass out the trace first? <laughs> Can we retro do the pass, pass out the trace? Yes. Sweet. So that's a fuck ton. Like metric fuck ton. Um, without pass without a trace, it's 37. So 47. Oh, <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> It's got okay. plus 19 to stealth. Nice. <clears throat> so, you guys... We're watching him, and then he's just We're watching him, in. and then he... He, like, motions for you to stop, and then he disappears. And he moves on ahead. All right, everybody into the barrel. Um, That's give me, not a bad give idea. Give me a perception. A sign? Yes. Oh, we'll be invest oh, he's looking for traps on investigation. Okay. Uh, so, 23. Okay. Uh, there are no traps. Give me a perception check now. 30. 30, Jeez. yes. <laughs> uh, off in the distance, there is a rumble. Uh, it, 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 it almost sounds like um, breaking ice. Like polar ice cap breaking kind of noise. It's very, uh, um, it's very faint from where he is, but it's it's there. Okay, and um, as Ulfgar, just before I get in the barrel, I'd like to do a history check on the stone since I do have that dwarf thing with stonework. Mm -hmm. um, can I tell how long this tunnel's been here? Or yes. Get advantage on those because dwarf. Uh, 17. Okay. 
uh, this this pathway, and you can tell through your your travel deeper into this that it is carved. So this is not a natural formation. It's not a natural formation. This pathway. Uh, okay. It is older than Appleshnar. Shit. It is. Appleshnar is fucking old too. Super, super old. Um, one other thing that Sai notices, because I think that this will this will be kind of a fun twist. Um, what a twist! As he's further in, and then we'll. We'll stop it. He finds a fresh skeleton. Human? No. Uh, it appears to be a dragonborn skeleton. Nagri! <laughs> it is not Nagri. Damn. Son of a bitch, but how would that problem be taken care of for us? The reason that he knows it's fresh is not because of the presence of any gore, because there isn't. It's just a white skeleton. But it's the fact that it is still wearing its dragon cultist robes. Shit. Cultists. With that, we will end this video. And take a break? Yeah, let's take a break. Later! Dream people, we will return. Does it need any like, Tums or anything?